All right, hope everybody's doing good. DJ, Blade, Quaid, Stale, Isla, Lily, hope you guys are all good. Okay. So where was I last time? Oh yeah, I killed that guy who had betrayed us. I did a main story mission. James, that'd be good too. Tafophobic? A morbid dread of being buried alive. That just seems like common sense to me. Who would want to be buried alive? Aside from, I don't know, Houdini. Oh, no. Tired, you doing alright? Rockwell, thank you for the reset, but how are you? The Kaja Blazon outfit protects against fire damage. Sick. Sounds good. I suppose. Okay. So, what am I doing? I have two skill points. Oh, God, that could be useful. Fervor reduces your visibility. Yeah, I could use that. Was there banjo music still? I was just playing a Mario Kart music playlist. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll continue with this. Oh, he's right here, though. I guess I'll do this first, because he's literally, like, right over here. Come here. What's that? Hmm. Got okay, iron injection. Hmm. Sounds delightful. Wonderful. Where are you? Oh, he's over there. Hey, yo. 
What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. <laughs> you know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Yeah, at least you're sober. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. You know, maybe she thought... That uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. Oh. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, They'll be sorry, too. I bet. Why she left? You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they felt like because it. Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. Ah, well, that makes sense. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Come on, Robo Bob. I'm coming. Keep going. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Robo Bob. Oh, he's stuck in a tree. All right, well, you stay there, Vent. <laughs> Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Almost there. This is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Let's see what we got. Those bloodstains, not the kind that would pull around a corpse. It must be Shadow Karja armor. A shadow card just spear. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. Hmm. They look like smears. Strange. Not a scratch on it. Yeah, that's a weird. These look like. Drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? 
but why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Yeah, seems like it's set up. That, thank you. Oh, there's a save point. Get why they wanted Earth to dread. But why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, something ain't right here. is this? Uh-oh. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? To me! Let's take her down! Ah. I think so. Oh, I just missed that headshot. I can kill you from right there? There we are. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's gonna wreck. Whoa. Oh, come on, bro. What's he doing? We have a little bit of an issue. I cannot get to this man. I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Oh, Lord.
know you ain't telling me to hit a hard one. I'm the only one to do anything. Okay, never mind. You froze him. Good job. Nice. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. So it was a betrayal. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. How's Pokemon Violet Club? blood what are those leather straps what are those a lot of people died here a massacre yeah i know we just killed them armor straps cut with a knife and a rock with blood on it These look like vanguard weapons. Those rocks, they're shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Other stones. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. More? I'm missing something. Here we go. <laughs> Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. Bars. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. But what? Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Mm. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right, then then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Proceeds to walk really slowly.
Bro, come on. I, I can beat you there if I wanted to. Into the Borderlands. Wait a minute. That's the wrong game. Um, okay. This is a lower level than the previous quest. That's interesting. I guess I'll continue with it. Look out below! Whoa, that kind of echoed. That was cool. I wonder if Robo Bob's still back there. Hope you're doing good, Goldfish. Keep that for later. Yep. If he's not, then I'll need to get a new horse. No, he's not. I'm pretty sure it was this tree that I left him on. Yeah, I'll need a new horse then. Oh, there's bulls over here. That's good enough. Sailing. Hold still, please. Thank you. Let's ride. What is that? Oh god. Let's get out of here. Nope. Keep going. Oh Jesus Christ. Don't want to fuck with that either. That under control. Yeah, it sounds like they're fine.
Alright, I'm pretty sure it's as far as you can go. So we'll wait here. That guy's feet were glitched for the, for the floor. I wish I could have rode my bull up here. You have no need to loiter around here. I'll loiter if I want to. No, I'm awake. And alert. Gentlemen. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let someone try. Oh, hey. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. All of what people? Unpleasant, but that's oh. all of us. <laughs> The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. I was like, it's I don't see nobody. Intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. <laughs> First the Osaram gets special treatment, and now outlanders from the Savage East? <sighs> what possible interest could the Sun Passed King have? Passed by some her? outlander woman? I think so. Two hours. How about you suck my ass, you rich fucks? I could literally kill all of you if I wanted to. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Meh. <laughs> What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. I hope so. I've heard about him enough. Aloy of the Nora, she who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. No, no, James. Errand, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. <laughs> if the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Can you? Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Asaram, but I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. Oh boy, private audience with the Sun King. I hate to impose for after the all sun. you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. Right. <laughs> so you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. 
So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. That checks. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Ooh. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Evidently, yeah. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. <laughs> well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen uh -huh. all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. You ask me to be your queen or something? Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Josh Keaton. Oh. Okay, yeah, he's done some stuff. Oh, wow, he was awesome a lot. That's crazy. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But I'm gonna beg. Help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. Uh-huh. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? 
Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. <laughs> so they say. <laughs> you were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do. You gotta pop out for a bit, don't you? What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Mm. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described, who hate Ursa so. More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must. What was that? Huh? Oh, hey, when did you get there? So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. <laughs> Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us a lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Oh. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but... <laughs> He wouldn't let it go. I didn't know that aspect. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer licking dungbag. Goddamn. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. <laughs> seems a little skinny for her. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just <laughs> focus on finding her and kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. I'm gonna beat you there, if anything. All around. What's up, Sea Star? How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work keeping the city safe. Hopefully, my bowl's still over here. Of letting women lead. Uh oh, the deep bomb. 
Ah, if he can despawn. Damn. Well, I'll have to get another one. I'm seeing since H1Z1 back in 2008. You're really? <laughs> yeah, that was... That game was fun while it lasted. <laughs> we actually went back on it like a year ago. It was super dead, but... Made some fun out of it. That's oh, raining. That's weird. Hey, well, I guess I'm running until I get a new ride. The time. Show was better last week. <laughs> Up. <sighs> Up. Okay, it's magically not raining over here. Got it. Okay, can I take those things over? No, I cannot. Well, free XP, whatever. Maybe it's those things I can take over, but not the Watcher guy. That might be it. Oh, there's Striders over here. You alright there, bud? Oh god. I got you, don't worry. What is that glitching up over? Whoa. Please, Nora, can we speak? Uh sure. I'm not sure I'd have done the same. Makes me think. Thank you, Nora. What is this? May the sun light their passing. Sure, all that. Raise the sun and stuff. Get it while I can. Get out of here. So, pitch cliff is where we're going. Oh, 
Uh oh. Stop following me. Gonna need this. Take that, thank you. Thanks. Oh, come on, man. Go faster. more of them. Come on, man. On the roads, really? The roads should be a sacred place. Can't believe fucking animals won't obey traffic laws. Is that him? Yeah, I think it is. I'm gonna beat you, bro. Steal to my soul. This must be Pitchcliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Are you still there? Yet, though. I miss him. No sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Damn cowardly shadow Karja must have jumped her. There's no way they could take Ursa face to face. Oh, yeah, I agree. Salutations. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Okay, I think I'm going this way. Ah, shit. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. Oh. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. That's pretty cool. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. Yeah. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. It's pretty badass. Roger a map in his dying blood. Never knew that character, but he's hardcore, that's all I know. Excuse me. Pardon me.
Oh, come on, bro. Oh my god, you're gonna be kidding me. Why were there two of them? No! like it. No guards posted. Oh, you're already here. Like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Machines, shoot their chains. Ow, oh, they turned on me. Hoping they turn on them. Why the hell is he doing so much damage? Now I get to walk away. <laughs> Why did he do so much fucking damage, man? Oh, come on. There we go. 
Vol's men. It's about to get ugly. I hope so. No, I'm hidden! Bro, I'm hidden in here. What do you mean? What do you mean? Intruders! Unleash the machines! I'm Shoot fucking hidden, dude. You've got to be joking me. Why do they hit so hard? Oh, fuck you. You ridiculous. Shit, how are you doing? I'm getting my shot. This is what you trained for. Top base, I want def you. I'm trying Let's not to die. Dodge when I'm actually trying to hit you. For Meridian. Oh, come on. Uh, we're getting picked off. 
That's the idea. There's no way. How did that miss? my friend. Uh-oh. He'll be down here. That, that, that looks like a trap. says you gotta eat dirt. That's dust, not dirt. Fucking Mortal Kombat over here. Oh, he's blind as shit. I'm literally right in front of you. They come. How? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? This is bullshit right here, bro. I hate this trope so much. Stop giving it bosses that don't need help help. It's so dumb. I'm dead. Or 
Ursa must be in there. There we go. We have to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Ah. Wait, can I loot him? Does he not have anything on? I think he glitched into the wall. How was there an enemy over there? Oh, she's alive. Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. <laughs> I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Oh, fuck. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. Yeah, I was going to say, where is he? But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Good idea. This machine's been picked apart with precision. Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. Durval's records, maybe. Just notes about crafting, oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze, headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. Ciao.
Did I not modify my spear? Guess not. We have to buy it first. I did see that quit. That's pretty crazy. Business is hot. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Sun shall fall. Okay, oh, this is closer, so let's go look for this little woman. Ah. was probably furious he couldn't take part in the action. You even keep going after Mania? Yeah, I mean, it can depend on... I, I mean, I think I think it'll be fine. Honestly, you could, you could argue... You could argue Roman or Cody as champion is going to do better than Roman as champion. Simply because Cody's going to be there every week. Okay, good. You didn't despawn. It's level 25 though. I'll come back to it. They made Batman a one. <laughs> a ginger woman in it at that. Unbelievable. How are you doing, Sean? Yeah, those are the most robot sound robots in this whole game. Exterminate. Keep quiet now. Doing yourself pretty good. Friend or foe? Friend. You're on the road. Don't get mad at me. Candy. I 
Health is 420 now. Sick. There. Got done. Aldrin Zeta. Okay. Come back to that. Just stay out of their way for now. Maker's End. Not much farther now. Oh, we're switching quests now. An image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. Yeah, we're looking for that redhead woman She's now. She's my mother. Why would there be traces of her all the way out here? I don't get it. Who is she? Her name. Is Elizabeth Sobek. Oh. You spying through my focus again. Damn it, Robobop. Oh, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on the present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Fight back! Damn you all! Make us a good spot. Tell me, Dave. I've left some stuff. Ow! Bob, now we'll start. Found him. There we are indeed. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? That's fucking stupid. What the- where did my guy go? Come on. myself. Ah! 
you take away my ride and you drop me in the middle of fight? What kind of fucking spawn is that? That's fucking stupid. That's bullshit. Ah, oh, it's this fucking guy again. I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, oh, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, Nil. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? I'll have his help with this. I've always used a broken blade. The end of it's a I didn't ask. Go in the front. I see something. Time for you to hurt. Time for me to hurt. You are mistaken. Quietly. What the hell? Where did you- what?
Excuse me? Somebody needs a killing and I'm gonna give it. Go! What is actually happening? How the fuck are you still alive? Oh, that's it. Okay. Are you a traitor? I really need some more health potions. Okay, thank God. Said her lover was killed by machines. I'm sure it was wrong. Where'd the homie go? Perfect weather for a walk. Sure.
These little moments are refreshing, aren't they? That could be the least creepy thing you've said to me. <laughs> oh, that glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across them. Never mind. There it goes. <laughs> you know, Nil, if you get tired of bandits, there is a group called the Eclipse. That's a political situation. They're murderers, and they're raising an army of machines. That's a little more than politics. Don't hate me for being single-minded. Besides, I wouldn't bet on how long the Shadow Cards are going to last, if you're in for the kill. We've come a long way from Noraland. Where have you been, Nil? I heard the roads of the Sundom were no longer safe. And thankfully, it was true. Ambushes, raiding parties, even corrupted machines. The mortal wounds just opened themselves to accept my arrows. But you knew this already. You've been walking on the edge of life and death. I can tell. Yeah. It's a long story. With many quick endings, I hope. Goodbye, Nell. I don't want to alarm you, but the bandits are thinning out. <laughs> Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course. Once is enough. When you really make it count. Okay, goodbye, Nil. <laughs> He's fly. Up, I'm out of a horse again. Increases the time machine will remain overridden by 50%. Chance for extra resources when loading down machines. Okay. Saving these for the trail. See them, they can't see you. Oh, I can't see them. What are you talking about? <laughs> You've lost me. What's up, Scar? there now. Yep. Yeah, thanks, sir. You're pretty good. Might be able to take them out one by one if I stay out of sight. Eclipse. Just like he said. The demons raced before the ground freezes again. going white. Ah. Uh. 
There it is. Right where he said it would be. Not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! <sighs> Damn him. I agree. and corrupted machines cooperate on happy family. Come on! Do here. Oh, God. A corruptor that might prove a challenge. Still.
Oh, that was sick. Oh shit. Ah, uh, so it's up you don't go. Another explosion. Yes, thank you, Aloy. What the fuck is that? Rotate turret. And fire. All weapons operation. Time to get it moving and be quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon. That's the original, right? Yeah. to be one of the Deathbringers Olin talked about. Fitting name. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. Battle is upon us! Oh god, it's got fire. working pretty well.
Okay then. What? You've been there the whole time. Try to run. Why don't you try to run? From being on fire. Ooh. Say it didn't work, did it? Did it. Those things pack a punch. Alright. Absolutely achieved it. It worked. <laughs> Oh, that's not my good. What? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Exterminate. <laughs> what the hell was that? Hades? I fled sudden the hey. captain. M mysterious stranger, did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Yeah, figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I'm sorry, can I loot this big ass thing? Is that even possible? Ah, uh, those are some pretty high level handling quills. Probably want those. But I can squeeze. Hold for identity scan. Machine's broken. I'll take it. Cause I ain't no doctor. Doctor Sabek, you are three hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred and ten days out of the day for your meeting with Mister Fairman. Shit. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's You're good at math. On? Can I not scan whatever this is? No? Okay. Oh, shit. Uh. Statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill, and they honored it. Welcome to Pharaoh Audit. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation, a group of people not unlike a tribe, and they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus, they'll help you understand. to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. 
With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Faro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Faro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. And it definitely was surprising. Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. Yeah, one of those down at least. Smell to it, not even old death. Another cave in, but I could get through. Jesus. Hi. Oh, hey. Looks like I can climb here. Thank you, Ella. That's how a ladder works, yes. That is a ramp to get back up. Not seeing where I'm supposed to go from here. Can you stop doing that?
All right. Whatever, dude. There we go. That's really hoping that would be it. Sadly, it is not. I had a mime for like the first 30 years. Made it. it. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? Use the scanner while I'm hanging. It'll be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. Oh boy. Be prepared. Prepared for what? <laughs> for that, I guess. That's a performance, I'm guessing, Scarlet. Unnecessary. Come on. Oh, 
That's ridiculous. Takes us a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. <clears throat> All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh, yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Why is it? Well. Elizabeth, good 2064. to, uh, It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Sounds just like me. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up to something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. Oh, suck. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean? Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final file has been recovered. Thank you, computer. Project Zero Dawn. Ah! Tile drop. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? 
Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Goddamn. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. Evidently she does. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. Mm. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <laughs> this, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do Hola. you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. Yeah. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Yes. Silence. That's my name. That's a shitty name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. If you're so smart, why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. <laughs> I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today. I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. You need to get a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really. We are quest in our Bluestone 42 episode. Okay. Lance Riddick. Yeah, I believe that is Lance Riddick. Let me write that down real quick. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? 
How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Because you're talking to me, you stupid bastard. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Got him. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. Adam and the opera. The terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to Her hair keeps feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. Hmm. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Like Walt Disney. Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. 
Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists. It's a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Oh, so we're in America? Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Oh, Jesus. Rip. Ah, I see. Sick animation. Okay. I'll be looking at it. Go check it out. <laughs> Familiar of all three, the wire's the only one I've really seen a lot of. I can't spare the weight. Bounce. Those machines are alert. This is the camp I liberated, right? Yeah. Let's make it sure. Oh, 
I'll find a use for you. Me too. Like not dying. Stop tensing up. Oh, I've almost got all the level two ones. up goldfish that oh me okay there we go not really sure what happened there it's definitely gonna be a boss at the end of this like there was the other one because they're making sure I have health As the fight music started. Ah, that's why. happening stocking up Okay, climb this. Uh-oh, someone's grumpy. Yeah. 
That's a big boy. Jesus, what the Dark Souls? Stuck in the wall. That's not fair. I'm glitched into the wall. Let me pick it up. I'm, I'm, it's... I can't get, I can't get away. Probably got to do with those things. that do? It didn't do anything. What's the point? It didn't do anything. I don't know how you expect me to do anything.
But this person used traps on it a lot. I'm gonna have to do the same thing. Sick of your shit. What the fuck? I'm... Not much use without ammo. Someone's grumpy. Oh great, it didn't work.
quietly. Go away. <laughs> There's no fucking way this thing's still behind me. Some bulls over there. They won't kill again. Oh well, Scarlet's cool. Probably gonna despawn, unfortunately. But you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Even. Um. This is probably what I need for that thing.
How do I equip those things then? Forgot how to. Let's see. Do I have to modify the trip caster? Is that it? Yeah, I'll come back to it. I don't, I don't get it. I prefer the one about the sun priest falling in love with a merchant's daughter. Find the women arising in the hunter's lodge. It's all those savages out of luck. Move. for help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. Watch out for the Osiron merchant. But now I can just walk right in. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste What's time up, talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Durval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! 
Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Kinda. She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. These damn Osiram are stirring up tensions. I'm keeping my eyes open. All right. A moment of your time, Outlander? Oh, this is a Marsha. Oh, he had a side mission or something. Able bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, <laughs> but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Oh, he's here? In the city? Oh, what the hell? Or he has a surprise for us. Yeah. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. I mean, not right now. You just told me to examine it. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. me that's a lot of blaze if that bomb downstairs goes off it'll be just what Durval promised smoke will darken the Sun as the city goes up in flames there's there's got to be a way to stop it it's a bomb all right well crafted Thank you, that helped so much. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. 
Brute force. I'm good at that. <laughs> What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Oh. Was this a Michael Bay movie? We did it. Durval's best shot and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there just to be sure. I'm going to look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. Yeah, is it heavily guarded, considering you guys are all here? He tries for the palace. He's finished. Think about it. Boot tracks. With just a bit of blaze in them. Nothing to say here, citizens. Move along. Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Let's have a chat. No. No. A colorful discussion. Shut up. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. I know. Under attack. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Son of a bitch. There he is. Durval. Pretty sure he saw you. Out parkour. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe not like that. Oh, come on. I already watched this. Thank you. I wish I could... This... What exactly is protecting him? Is he using his spear? He is, but that doesn't make any sense because I'm behind him. something. Oh, but there's something there. Save these for the trail. Well, I have full health. I have as full of health as I possibly can. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. 
I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench, and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It, <laughs> it didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! Surprised I had a temper tantrum. <laughs> No. Shit. Oh, spike rate. Oh. Nutritious. Sorry, right. Y'all all right? Okay, well, I'll come back to you. Don't worry. What's this? It's me. Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Night come. Can we finish this? I've got a son not to kill. You cannot run from this. Starting to uh, irritate me. Uh, I've led an army. Uh, Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Why does a have his ladies do the fighting? Whoa, okay, I killed him. That's it. <laughs> he died. He died misogynistically. <laughs> that was his last words. Why does a bot have ladies do the fighting? It's not over yet. Oh, maybe not. Any good Osaram Tinko will tell you. Always have a third plan. Uh oh. They know I'm here now. Well, no shit. Ah! Oh. Those majestic, murderous glint hawks! Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. Of course there is. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Yeah, I heard that one already. Ah, shit.
Oh shit. Bro, it's glitching. What you got now, bitch? Anything else? What's plan four? As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Oh. <laughs> That was a lot less impressive than I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be beat by the time this is done. Least expect they cause me trouble. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Won't find that. First, what up, bitch? Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Okay, well that was pointless. Thank you. Let's have a chat. No. Unlimited stamina. There's a guard under the last one. All right, my lord. Aloy. To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa 
you know. I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. <laughs> Did anyone know? Only one. Dervo. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines. Weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. Then we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Shall we talk some more? Oh, yeah, there was more, I think. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not to me. Hey, like, come on. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. <laughs> you were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa, including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah, please. Accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time, I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? Cool, we're gonna fuck the Sun King, though. I have to go. Maybe I not. understand. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. Good. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Yep. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? No. You did with Durval. Also true. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. Get in touch with my clan, and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean, 
Less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? Nothing pretty. First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. <laughs> but whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. That's a good line. <laughs> Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing. I don't know if it works, but that's a good line. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Oh, it worked. Then. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Cool. I got a skill point. There's nothing I can upgrade with one skill point, though. I imagine that was a save point. Surely it had to have been. I completed the a main quest. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow, uh, we're gonna do broken sword. For today, we went about three and a half hours. Follower count is fifty-two forty. Uh, thank you to Rockwell for the resub. I appreciate it. Let me see who's live and I'll raid somebody. Who do we have? Um, I'll look for a random marble streamer. Let's see. There we go. Bro just got affiliate him, apparently. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. For those guys who don't know, I stream every single day, so I will be right back on here tomorrow, and I will see you guys then. Good night, guys.